Now, breaking news from CBS 17 News. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Nick Sturdivant. and Rock Carter has the night off. We begin with breaking news tonight. One win shy, again, one win shy of making the College World Series finals. And NC State baseball is forced to sit dozens of their best players. Mm, we have team coverage tonight. Let's begin with sports anchor Chris Clark. And Chris, what can you tell us? I can tell you, we were getting ready to see if NC State could take down Vanderbilt and get to that final round of the College World Series. But about 30 minutes for game time, the pack hadn't released a lineup yet. And the team was then taken off the field. Field due to players testing positive for COVID. The school released a statement saying an undisclosed number of players from a team have been put into COVID-19 protocol and will be unavailable for today's game. NC State and the NCAA and appropriate parties are working together to monitor the situation. Now, when the dust had settled, the game was delayed an hour. They talked about, you know, canceling altogether, but the Wolfpack then were just left with nine position players, nine and four pitchers for their game against top-ranked Vanderbilt. I mean, it's double elimination, so Vandy would have to win two games to advance. NC State needs just one win to advance. State was given the choice of forfeiting today's game, actually, and waiting to play tomorrow in hopes that they would get a majority of their team to come back. They said no, they want to play today, take their chances. That's what they're doing right now. Get this, the last four players in the NC State lineup, Carlson Falskin, Sam Heifel, Eddie Isaac, and D'Angelo Giles, all D1 players, had combined to just start eight games all year up to this point. Players on all teams participating in College World Series, I mean, they're tested every other day, competing teams. They have not interacted off the field in any capacity at all, just for reasons like this. They're kept away from others. They're in a, in a bubble of sorts out there in Omaha. School hasn't said who has tested positive or is out due to contact tracing, but here's what Coach Elliot Avent said Monday night after they beat Vanderbilt the first time. Coach Hart's been sick for probably five or six days. JT Jarrett caught the bug a couple days ago. Uh, this bug seems to be going around. Cameron Cotter, I've got it a little bit. This bug seems to be floating around. And I think right now it's important for our players to get some rest. Obviously, hindsight 2020. Again, that was Monday night after they beat Vanderbilt. They get tested every other day, like I said. NC State mom on who tested positive. We'll have much more coming up in sports at 6. All right. Thanks, Chris. And NC State fans gathered at Brick House in Raleigh.